Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On. Welcome to another edition of 7 O'Clock Spurs on your Thursday evening. First bit of news, I'm sure you've already heard it, it's fantastic news. Last night there was the Haringey Council appeal situation over the new stadium and we have been given the green light to go ahead with our latest changes. Of course those changes include the NFL dressing rooms and all of that kind of stuff allowing our Americanization of the club to potentially happen. Of course you know all this but I'll tell you once again it's a 61,000 all-seater stadium with the 17,000 one level cop which will be the largest one tier part of any stadium in Europe. What a fantastic piece of business this has proven to be by Daniel Levy, getting all this sorted. Uh, all that needs to happen now is for it to be signed off by Boris Johnson, but he is known to be a fan of the project and the regeneration of North London Tottenham. Can't wait for it, guys. If it is going to happen, which it looks like it will, we're going to move in in the 2018-19 season. And that, I think, is when the future of Tottenham can really start. More money in every week, more corporate dollar, higher wages being paid to better players and bigger transfer fees being able to be spent. Let me know what you think of all that in the comment section below. Next bit of news today. Man United are reportedly going to gazump us in our bid for uh, Walsall's left-back wonder kid, Rico Henry. He's uh, 18 years old. He's played 21 times this season. It's an interesting one for me. I've looked at him a few times on YouTube and read about his stats. He does look like a good young player. It suits a Paul Mitchell and Rizzo Pochettino signing. However, if I were him, would I choose to go to Man United over Spurs right now? I don't think I would. Man United just bought Luke Shaw. Of course, he's got an injury. But is he realistically going to kind of usurp Luke Shaw at left back for Man United in years to come? I just can't see it. If I were him, I'd go to Spurs where... You know, they're blooding young players all the time. You've got a chance of getting first team football really quickly at Spurs as a young English player. So, Rico Henry, I'm telling you, if we want you, which it sounds like we do, come to Spurs. Definitely. I would. Why wouldn't you? Final bit of news today. More and more talk about Andros Townsend's move from Spurs. It's looking more than likely in January. Now, uh, West Bromwich Albion and Aston Villa have entered the race to go along with Crystal Palace and Newcastle, who are also bidding for him. Looks like we'll take anything around 10 to 15 million pounds or maybe more realistically he'll go out on loan because he wants to play and get back in Roy Hodgson's England squad before the Euros. Do you want Andros to leave? How much would you take? Let us know in the comments section below. Also let us know what you thought of all those news stories. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Come on you Spurs. Just so you know those games will be on the 18th and 25th of February. The 25th will be the game at White.